नमस्कार आई एम श्रियंका एंड यू आर वॉचिंग टॉप स्टोरीज विद मोबाइल न्यूज 24/7 where you get the biggest news highlights in india and across the world let's have a look on the headlines in punjab police app sweeps punjab emerges as national force in uttar pradesh elections bjp crosses halfway mark samajwadi party makes gains bjp takes leads over congress in uttarakhand assembly elections BJP claims victory as party leads in 19 seats in Goa elections. BJP leading in 29 Manipur seats, Congress in 9. India Sri Lanka teams reach Bengaluru ahead of pink ball test. Julian becomes joint highest wicket taker. Djokovic withdraws from US tournaments. Black Panther director Ryan Coogler mistaken to be bank robber detained. Five years after Jolly LLB2, Akshay Kumar breaks silence on rift with Arshad Vashri. Now bringing you the details. The Aam Aadmi Party on Thursday appeared set for a landslide victory in Punjab, leading to on 91 of the 117 assembly seats after virtually crushing all its opponents in a hard-fought assembly election. Aam Aadmi Party candidates forging ahead. Even in known strongholds of Punjab's traditional parties, many stalwarts of the Congress, Akali Dal and BJP among others appeared set for defeat. While Aam Aadmi Party chief ministerial candidate Bhagwat Singh Maan was headed to win in Dhuri, all former chief ministers including Prakash Singh Badal, Amarinder Singh, Rajinder Kaur Bhatal and incumbent Charanjit Singh Channi were trailing by big margins. Meanwhile, Punjab Congress President Navjot Singh Sidhu said he humbly accepts defeat in Punjab and congratulated Aam Aadmi Party for its landslide victory in the state. Early numbers show that the Bharatiya Janata Party has crossed the halfway mark in Uttar Pradesh Assembly elections. The Saffron Party led by Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath is looking to retain its power in Uttar Pradesh. Data shared by Election Commission on round 1 of counting shows that Samajwadi Party chief Akhilesh Yadav is leading in his constituency Karhal and BJP's SP Singh Baghel is second. While exit polls have predicted a victory for the double engine government of BJP, the state has not returned a government to power since 1985. Samajwadi Party in alliance with the Rashtriya Lok Dal put up a fierce battle drawing support from West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. Early trends from counting of the votes of Uttarakhand Assembly polls shows that Bharatiya Janata Party leading in 19 constituencies while Congress was ahead on 12 seats and Bahujan Samaj Party taking leads on 2 seats. The BJP was leading in Haridwar, Pratap Nagar, Raipur, Roorkee, Bajpur, Kapkot, Vikas Nagar, Rajpur Road, Gadarpur, Haldwani, Masuri, Lalkova, Rudrapur Assembly constituencies. The latest data by Election Commission of India at 9:36 a.m. stated. Meanwhile, Congress is leading in nine constituencies of Sahaspur, Bhagwanpur, Ramnagar, Kitcha, Dharampur, Chakrata. Purola Jwalapur Narendra Nagar the latest data by the election commission stated The BJP claimed victory in the state assembly polls with the party which is contesting the elections on its own leading trends on 19 seats and the Congress Goa Forward Alliance leading in 11 constituencies according to election commission of India statistics This is a victory of Goan people and a victory for the government A victory of the Prime Minister, BJP National General Secretary C. T. Ravi, told reporters in Panaji. While the Election Commission has not formally declared any winner so far, when asked if BJP would be speaking to other parties like Maharashtra Wadi, Gomantak Party for support to reach the magic number of 21, Ravi said that the decision would be taken after the final results are announced. The ruling BJP has surged ahead in 29 seats while the opposition Congress was leading in 9 seats out of 59 constituencies for which trends were available in the vote count for the Manipur Assembly polls on Thursday. State Chief Minister N Biren is leading over P Sharad Chandra Singh in Hingam 
by over 5,700 votes. BJP heavyweight TH Radhesham was leading the heroic while state congress president N. Lokane was trailing BJP candidate Basanta Singh at Nambol. Veteran Congress leader O. Joy was leading over former Minister K. Sham of the BJP at Langthabal while Agriculture Minister O. Lukhoi was trailing NPP candidate K. H. Lokain at Wangoi. India and Sri Lanka teams have reached Bengaluru ahead of the second test at the M. Chinnaswamy Stadium starting March 12. The match is a day-night pink ball test. Before leaving for Bengaluru on Wednesday evening, Team India had a full-fledged practice with the pink SG ball in Mohali. India had defeated Sri Lanka in the first test within three days, winning by an innings and 2.22 runs. Skipper Rohit Sharma will be eyeing for whitewash and press for wall number one test team rankings. If India win the match and Pakistan beat Australia in the respective second test, India will retrieve the top spot in the ICC team rankings. Ahead of the pink ball test, Rohit had a shot in the arm, with Akshar Patel making a comeback but has a hard task cut out whether to play Akshar or Mohammad Siraj, keeping in view the history of the day-night cricket in India. Veteran India fast bowler Jhulan Goswami on Thursday became the joint highest wicket taker in women's ODI World Cups. The 39 year old equaled Lynn Fulstone's record of 39 wickets. Jhulan achieved the milestone of the 2022 World Cup match against New Zealand at the Sedon Park. Jhulan bowled Katy Martin with a Yorker in the final over of New Zealand's innings to equal the 34 year old record. England's Carol Hodge, Clear Teller and Catherine Fitzpatrick of Australia complete the top five wicket takers in World Cups. Serbian tennis player Novak Djokovic has withdrawn from the Indian Wells Masters and Miami Open, citing regulations by the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention as the reason for his inability to participate in the Masters 1000 level events. Earlier in January, Djokovic was deported from Australia after a 10-day legal battle against the Down Under government to defend his title at the Australian Open. Spaniard Rafael Nadal defeated Daniel Medvedev of Russia in the 2022 edition, final to lift his 21st major singles trophy, surpassing the all-time record he had jointly held with Djokovic and Swiss Roger Federer. The celebrated Black Panther director Ryan Kogler, who has been on the Time 100 list of the most influential people of the 2018, was detained by the police in Atlanta back in January after he was mistaken for a bank robber at a Bank of America branch. The director confirmed the incident to Variety. This situation should never have happened, he said, adding that Bank of America walked with me and addressed it to my satisfaction and we had moved on. The news was broken by TMZ based on a police report. It said Kugler was detained after he went to Bank of America to make a transaction. The 35-year-old director who was wearing a hat, sunglasses and a COVID face mask went to the counter and handed the teller a withdrawal slip with a note written on the back that reportedly read, I would like to withdraw $12,000 cash from my checking account. Please do the money count somewhere else. I would like to be discreet. Bollywood superstar Akshay Kumar broke his silence on the alleged rift with Bachchan Pandey castmate Arshad Varshi, which was reported during the release of Jolly LLB2. Putting the rumours to rest, he clarified that nothing of that sort happened between him and Arshad. The actor was speaking on the sidelines of press event for Bachchan Pandey, where he was present along with Varsi, Kriti Sanan, Jacqueline Fernandez and the film's director, Farhad Samzi. Quite often, it is reported in the media that I don't generally get along with the people I work with, Akshay Kumar added philosophically. He recollected another incident from Surya Vanshi. Even during the making of Surya Vanshi, it was said that I had a huge showdown with Rohit Shetty. The truth is that there's no basis to such reports, Aksha added. <laughs>